All right, welcome to Makeaway Projects, the YouTube channel that's all about helping you get from one place to another. And we're going to start out by building a sailboat. All right, let's move over and get right into it. And I want to show you uh, a few uh, notes that I took about what I'm looking for in a sailboat and you know some of the things I'd really like to have, some must-haves, and some nice-to-haves. And then we're going to compare a few uh, uh, sailboat plans and see uh, which ones we might be interested in. All right, so uh, the first off is, um, you know, I wanted a boat. Uh, did I want a motorboat or a sailboat? I really wanted to not have to worry about buying fuel. I mean, it's expensive, and you know, I'd rather just go on the wind uh, or maybe even uh, uh, electric power if I need to. Um, all right, so I want I chose a sailboat, and then uh, you know, and then the question is, should it be a monohull or a multi-hull? And um, at first. I was thinking that it was going to have to be a monohull uh, because I was worried it wouldn't fit on a trailer. Uh, that's one of the things that I've got here that the must-haves. Uh, but I did find out that it is possible to get a multi-hull or a catamaran that would fit on a, on a trailer. Uh, so that's, I, I like that because I want to make sure that, uh, well, I don't get very seasick. I know other people might get seasick, and um, you know, hey, I've never, I've never even ridden on a catam uh, catamaran, but from what I understand, um, it really helps with seasickness. So we're gonna go with a multi hull. Uh, I want it, I want something that I can build myself, and the whole idea is eventually I want to sell this boat and make enough money on it to be able to continue making other projects. So that'll, that'll be the goal. Um, I mentioned already I want it to fit on a trailer. Uh, I also want to be able to, you know, why do I want it to fit on a trailer? Well, I, you know, I don't want to store it someplace else. I'd rather be able to bring it home uh, and put it here, um, you know, maybe even my, in my garage if possible. Um, so that's uh, why I want it to be small enough. Uh, I don't want something that can only go in a uh, protected lake. Uh, I do want it to be able to go on the coastline. Um, so, um, you know, maybe to make some, you know, fairly long trips, uh, at least overnight, um, you know, with a few people on board. And, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so I want to keep the construction costs low. And I want to be able to uh, build it right here in my garage and maybe even store it in my garage. Okay, so those are all the things that... I'm, I'm thinking about that, that we need to have in this project. What about uh, some of the things that, you know, I would like to have? So let's uh, scroll down here. So, you know, it might seem uh, strange, but my number one item on the things that I really like to have is a, um, an enclosed toilet or water closet. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, we'll just leave that at that. Um, I, I, want, I mentioned already that I'd like it to be able to go in um, you know, on the coast, but I would like it to be able to go in um, shallow places, uh, maybe even on rivers um, and, and so on. So um, a, a small draft so the boat doesn't sit very uh, deep in the water uh, is, is something that I'd really like to have. And because we're talking about a catamaran, I would like it to be as wide as possible um, for some extra stability. I know that there's a lot more that goes into stability. It's not just the width of the boat or the beam, but uh, there, the weight is included, the height of the sail, how big the sails, you know, how big the sails are, how much wind is blowing, how they're set. There's a, there's a whole bunch, but in general, I'd like it to be as wide as possible, and I'd like to be able to launch it and manage the docking all by myself if possible all right um what would be nice to include uh, i did mention that uh, uh, earlier that maybe putting an electric motor um on on board would be good and if possible i'd like to have some uh, flat surfaces to be able to put some solar panels all right so uh with that in mind uh, i found a a place here 
called Duckworks uh, Boat Builder Supply, and they have some plans for sale. Uh, it's at duckworks.com. And if you scroll down to plans and kits and open up plans by type and then open up sailboats, there's a section in here for multi hulls. So that's where we're at now. And there's uh, about, um, well, many, many plans here, many different uh, options. Some of these are way too big for what I'm looking for. Um, Oh, actually, actually, I'm not in there. I haven't clicked on multi-hulls yet. Okay, so let me click on multi-hulls. There we go. So here's all of the multi-hulls that they have available. And I went through this list uh, one by one. I looked at them um, as much as with as much detail as we have uh, to try to choose some uh, candidates. And so let's go back to the notes here. And here are some of the... I picked out three boats that I'd like to consider. Uh, one is the Eco 520, one is the Eco 6, and one is the KD 650. Uh, so those are all um, there on the Duckworks. And if we click here's uh, the Eco 520. The plans for this are 109, the full plans are $190. And that's what the, the boat would look like. Here's the Eco 6, and it's a slightly larger catamaran. Uh, the plans for this one are $180. And this is the KD 650. Uh, the plans are $238, and this is, uh, between the three here, this is the largest one. It may not look like it, but this is the largest one. All right, so let's go back to the online notes and see which of these um, items here, the, the, you know, whether it's um, the, the things I'd really like to have or, or so on um, would, uh, would meet the requirements. And they, the Eco 520 and the Eco 6 uh, meet all of the must-haves. And the KD650 is missing number six. So low construction costs and the ability to build it later and store it in a two-car garage. It is just at the limits of being able to fit in a two-car garage. It's, a, uh, I think it's around 21 feet long. And it also has uh, some aluminum poles. Um, that, that connect the two hulls, and those are not cheap. Uh, so I, I marked that one as not meeting that requirement. Um, but it does uh, have one of the required. That's the that's the one that meets uh, item number nine, which up here is the wide beam. So the thing about the the KD650 is you've got two hulls, and they're connected by aluminum poles, and the hulls can be close together on the trailer and then when you get in the water they can spread out so i liked that uh, so I, I did include it and i really did think about it uh, even though it, it would cost a little more and it would just barely fit in the garage um, I, and i'm it's still under consideration uh, so we'll we'll leave it at that um, what about the other the uh, the things i'd really like to have so if we take a look there, the Eco, um, the Eco 6 is the only one that has the enclosed toilet or water closet. The KD650 has room, it says, for a toilet, but it's not a dedicated room. So I, I unchecked that one. The Eco 520, I mean, I might be able to modify the plans to put a toilet in there somewhere. Uh, but the Eco 6 already has that uh, drawn into the plans. Uh, all three of the boats have a small draft, um, so they can go in shallow water. I already mentioned that the KD650 is the only one that is why. I mean, all of these boats should be fine. They should all be stable. I'm just pointing out that the KD650 is really wide once it's in the water. Uh, and they all should be able to be managed uh, to, to launch and to dock by myself. 
And the KD650, um, if we go back to that one, I didn't see a lot of flat surfaces uh, to put solar panels. I mean, you've got just a little bit here and there. It's not like the, um, the Eco 6 where you've got a larger flat surface. You've got this cabin that connects the hulls. And the Eco 520 also has a cabin to connect the hulls. So I'm going to put that the, uh, the Eco 520 and the Eco 6 both meet the, um, the requirement to have a flat surface. Whether or not they actually do or not, I'm, I'm not sure about. But those are all of the considerations. Um, I still haven't decided which one I'm going to build. So that will be in a future video. All right. I'm excited to get started. Um, you know, gotta gotta choose properly though which one which one we want. So um, that will all be in of uh, in another video. All right, thank you very much. Bye.